What's up y'all, it's your boy Mujigo back again with another basketball video. And today we are going to discuss the Dallas Mavericks. Now, um, I have one question. Is it time already to press the panic button if you're the Dallas Mavericks? And I'm here to tell you why I believe yes. Uh, I know it's only been seven games since uh, they, they added carry. Um, they actually won the first two. And then uh, Luca came back from injury. And ever since uh, Luca and Kyrie have been on the court together, they are one and four. And uh, as you all know, um, I assume we all watched them blow a 27 point lead to the Los Angeles Lakers at home yesterday. So, why is the situation so bad so early for the Dallas Mavericks? For a few reasons. Right now, they are sitting in at the sixth seed in the West, only two games out of being fourth but they also only got two games up on the 10th seed meaning they could actually there is a there is a, a world in which the Dallas Mavericks don't make the playoffs or the play-in now I don't believe they don't make the playoffs but they might you know end up in the plane and depending on their seeds if they're anything below eighth they would have to win two games and looking at how the West is shaping up you don't want to have to play the Timberwolves or the Lakers or, hell, the Warriors with Steph Curry coming back or even Dame in a one-game type situation. Like this is, this is very stressful and anything could happen. There's a lot of talent on all of those teams. So with Dallas' lack of ability to play defense, I can see all the superstars that, that are on those teams catching fire for one game and they're just going home. So, you have that. Uh, we also have to discuss um, the, the multiple issues that uh, happened ever since the trade. So, I understand that you wanted to, you know, add up uh, another superstar um, to the roster. So, Luca can see that you're for real, that you're willing to do whatever it takes for them to win. But, they sacrificed all of their defense and pretty much... For a team that was already quite small, like right now they they are looking like middle schoolers out there. Like yesterday, they allowed Vanderbilt, who played amazing, all us all on energy, right? Seventeen rebounds, eight offensive rebounds, eighty was just out there like a monster. And LeBron, who actually got hurt, still dropped eleven in the fourth quarter because he was able to post up pretty much all of the defenders. No rim protection whatsoever, no nothing. The, the Mavs can't defend. And even on the perimeter, on the perimeter, sorry, you have Luka and Carey. So that's two negative defensive players. So they just can't play defense. And for the offense, uh, I understand why, you know, uh, Luka and Carey still need time, you know, to figure out the chemistry and all that. Uh, but they, they really, it's really coming down now to will they hit some threes or will they not? If they cannot hit the threes, they can't score, and which, which is what happened yesterday. Like first half, everything was going in, so everything was looking beautiful, and then they got just a little bit colder. So the Lakers were able to bring that shit back to 14 points, and then they, they kept on walking them down and down because the, the, the Mavs couldn't buy a three anymore in the second half when the moment, once the momentum left. And ever since uh, Luca and Kyrie have been playing together, Again, because of lesser chemistry and all that. And also because I get the sense that they're both trying to not ball too much and involve the, the other superstar. They've been very bad in, in the clutch with some key turnovers and sometimes stupid turnovers, I want to say. It's, 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 it looks like there's still stress out there. But the, why is that a problem? Because they don't have time to really figure it out. They only have 22 games left. And looking at the schedule, they get the Grizzlies three times, the Sixers twice, they get the Kings, the Warriors with Steph Curry coming back. So I can, I can see them dropping a lot of games. And even for easy easier opponents like the Pacers that they have twice, if you can't guard against those type of teams, you might... You might mess around and lose some of those games too. So that's an issue. And now, um, before we close this, obviously we get to address the situation. If Kyrie does not sign in the offseason, the Dallas Maverick would have lost. Um, Dorian Finney-Smith 
Who else they traded away? Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie? For nothing. And it would be a disaster. There's no real big free agent in, in the next free agency uh, either. I believe the bigger name is James Harden. And he's not going to Dallas. He's either staying in Philly or going back home in Houston. So that, that would mean that the roster would be even worse than what it used to be when, Lou, when people were already screaming that Luka didn't have help. So yeah, so the, the Mavs may be in trouble, man. So anyways, so now what I need you to do is like, share, and subscribe to the channel and get in the comment section and tell me what you are you feeling the Mavs, man? What's the ceiling for this team? Um, are they going to be okay? Is Kyrie staying? Is he leaving? Y'all tell me everything. Um, for for this season, man, I believe they make the playoffs and they just go home in the first round, and which would be um a failure coming off um making the conference finals. But anyways, so that's it for me. I'll I'll catch you guys later. Peace.